Hey -o, my beauties, so we're gonna get started with reading today, hey hey, and I have a new book called Frog on a Log, and it's by Kess Gray and Jim Field, and we know that when we do our reading, we have to have a goal in mind, so today we're gonna be thinking about a new goal, because we've been talking about feelings and how the character's feelings, and this is our new goal, what's in the bubble? And what's in the bubble is kind of like a speech bubble. And when we think about what's in the bubble, we are thinking exactly what the character might be feeling or what are they thinking. Even if it doesn't have a speech bubble, we can still think about what the character is thinking throughout the story and what, we're, what they're going through. And today, we're going to find out what this frog, the character in the story, is thinking. In this book, The Frog, something's going to happen very silly. There's going to be another character, the cat, that's going to try to help the frog. But I don't know if he's much help. I like this book too because it has lots of rhyming words in it. And rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end, words that sound the same at the end. So let's see if you can find it. Don't forget our goal. Our strategy strategy today is what's in the bubble. Here we go. Frog on a log. Frog on a log. Hey, frog. Sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all hard and uncomfortable, and they give you splinters. Ouch! I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. That's so stupid. Can't I sit on a mat, asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. If we could put a, a, a bubble right here, what do you think the frog is thinking? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. Mules, stools, rhyme word. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. What do you think the line is thinking if you can add a speech bubble right here? That doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. Do you think that's the right thing? What do foxes sit on, asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes, and fleas sit on peas. So I think cat is just making up things because they go together with rhyming. What do goats sit on, asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on pillows, and storks sit on forks. If you look closely at that cow, what speech bubble could you put right here? What do you think he's thinking? What do gorillas sit on, asked the frog. 
Gorillas sit on pillars," said the cat. "Gorillas sit on pillars. Rats sit on hats. Weasels sit on easels, and moles sit on poles." Do you think they really sit on those things? What is he thinking? He doesn't look too happy there. What could you put in his bubble? What do weasels sit on? Asked the frog. Don't you know anything? Said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves. Newts sit on flutes. Lizards sit on wizards. And apes sit on grapes. You see the frog now. How do you think the frog is feeling? What about puffins? Asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins. Snakes sit on cakes. Owls sit on towels. Gibbons sit on ribbons. Lambs sit on jams. And bees sit on keys. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do you think the cat is thinking? Oh, there goes a bubble. What do dogs sit on? Asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that," said the cat. <gasps> What do you think? Dog sit on. Mm. Help! And that is the end. What do you think? The dog sit on frogs. Yep, that's right, because they rhyme, and Cat was making sure that all the animals sat on things that rhyme with their names. Did you like that story? That was another very silly story. I like when authors write funny things to make the the readers laugh. So, we're gonna review that goal. What's in the bubble? We were reading this book, and it was about frog and cat. And lots of other animals. What do you think they were thinking throughout this book? What do you think Frog was thinking when Cat was telling him all those crazy things? How do you think he felt at the end? We saw some speech bubbles, right? Help! And what do dogs sit on? You see that? But let's think a little bit deeper. Let's dive on in. What were you thinking when you were reading, when you were listening to this book? Talk about it. Remember, what's in the bubble helps us to think more about the characters and what they're thinking and how they're feeling. I hope you like this story. I'll see you later, my beauties, and keep reading.